I come to you once again from the Hall of Books. Today, I'd like to discuss a problem that many young clarinetists often encounter. Transposition. And the question, what do you mean? If I play a G, it sounds an F. That doesn't make any sense. Why can't I just play a G and have it sound a G? You mean like this? G, G. G. And this instrument here is the clarinet in C, not the clarinet in B flat. This is your everyday clarinet. So why is the clarinet in C not the primary instrument? Why is this an auxiliary? Well, there's a few reasons. One, it's the predominance of bands and their use of flat keys over uh, sharper natural keys. C is actually not a commonly encountered key in band music, but it's actually a lot deeper than that. It has to do with a little bit of music history. The original clarinets actually were instruments pitched in the key of D, uh, just a little bit bigger than this E flat clarinet here. So the original clarinets were actually small instruments capable of playing very high trumpet-like sounds, which is where the name clarino, clarino is a type of trumpet playing, clarinet is small clarino. Well, what they found is some of the larger sizes, particularly the sizes in B flat, sounded very nice, very lyrical. And this was the size that most composers favored if they needed to do something in a flat key. If they needed a sharp key, they'd go half a step bigger to the clarinet in A, which I do not have with me, um, and they would have this nice pair of clarinets. But there was a third member of that set, so you had the B flat, you had the A, and for many years the clarinet players would also have a C. So they bring three clarinets with them. And you can see this in works of Beethoven, um, works of Mozart, uh, works really throughout the early part of the 18th century, or 19th century, and then by the mid part of the 19th century, this instrument goes away, only to be revived, uh, really again, by Gustav Mahler. Mahler uh, realized that this instrument is very different in character than this instrument. The B flat and the A, there's not a huge difference in character. Some, some argue there's, there's not any difference in character, but this one, is different. This one is a special sound. Now, one reason that beginner clarinets do not use this instrument is that as reed instruments get smaller, they inevitably get harder to play. This is considerably smaller than this, and one reason that we consider the E flat clarinet to be the hardest of all the clarinets to play, excepting, of course, the very rare. A flat clarinet, which is not even seen in this country. So, this instrument is actually easier to play than this instrument. So, we've got the whole set of clarinets here. Now, it does produce a special sound, and one that I really, really do like and really enjoy. Uh, I've always described the sound of the C clarinet as being happy, it's perky, it's bubbly. Um, the, the B flat clarinet, on the other hand, is languid, uh, it's more lyrical, uh, but it's also to me, after years of being around B flat clarinets and band, it's monotonous too. Um, it, this is kind of a new fresh tone color after years and years of only hearing this. Uh, I'd like to play a little bit of demonstration for you, and we'll start out on the B-flat clarinet, and I'll set the C down here. I'm going to play a little bit of Mozart Concerto. Uh, hopefully I don't botch it too badly as I completely mess up the reed. So I'll just play the opening uh, few bars of the Mozart. And you can hear the sound quality on the on the B flat, and then I'll go over to the C, and you can hear how much brighter it does sound. So that's 
that's how it typically sounds. Actually, it sounds half a step lower because it's played on the A clarinet, but you'll hear a lot of high school players play that on the B flat because high school players don't have access to the A. Here it is now, same thing on the C. Excuse me, gotta readjust the thumb rest here just a sec. Very, very much brighter in sound still. In fact, the C clarinet becomes closer totally to the E flat clarinet. Had I not told you I was playing on a C clarinet, you might have mistaken that sound for the E flat. Now, in fact, I will play that on the E flat. And forgive me, this is a, a new Leger read that I'm not quite used to yet. And way too hard for this instrument. lighter strength Leger read than that if I'm going to continue playing that on the E flat. But it gives you an idea. So the C it actually groups instead of with the B flat more closely, it groups more with the E flat. It becomes more of a sopranino clarinet. It's, it's a bridge instrument. Uh, Mahler recognized this even by the time he was writing the first symphony. You'll see uh, very important parts for the C clarinet. And Strauss is the other composer who does this a lot. Uh, you look at, um, I think the first time he uses it is the Alpine Symphony. And he uses the C clarinet as an extra high voice. Uh, so you get, it has two B flats, a C, and then an E flat. The C will pair more often with the E flat. And by Strauss's later operas, he's ditched the E flat altogether and it's just using the C up there. It, it gives a little bit more flexibility. This can get nearly as high as the E flat, has a, a little bit sweeter tone color than the E flat, and it'll get a couple notes lower. Um, so case in point, the low register, I'll just play, um, oh, this is one of my favorite tunes, just the Granger Children's March. <laughs> On the B flat. And what I'll do is actually I will play that instead of in F, I'll play that in G, and you can hear the exact same notes on the B flat. instrument is and how much brighter this instrument is. Again, a, a very, very different sound, one that can add a lot more tone color to your clarinet section. Uh, to my knowledge, in modern band music, the C clarinet has never been used. Uh, it has been used in uh, 19th century band music. You'll find this um, a good case is the Mendelssohn uh, pieces for harmony music. Harmony music was just the term uh, for whatever wind band was being used in Austria and Germany. Um, years ago, I did a modern performing edition of his Trauer March, and it called for two F clarinets, which are extinct to C clarinets and to basset horns. No B flats at all. And the the bright, for, and really for Middleson, almost edgy quality of the music really 
wanted the C clarinet. Sadly, we did not have them. You can actually find the performance of that piece elsewhere on my channel. Uh, it's a live performance, one of the, the few I've got. Um, so C clarinet for, for a modern band composer really can be a, a very interesting new instrument to add. Uh, just a single player. In fact, what could be done, and what I'm actually doing in Forest Dreams right now, is I've got an E flat and a C, and this is my high note department in that piece. And these these guys are trading back and forth doing bird calls and bird songs. And the B flats are sitting there and they're really filling out more harmony stuff. And this becomes the solo instrument and the B flat's the harmony. And the E flat adds an extra layer on top. So again it's a it's a useful little instrument. Um, Again, what I'd love to see start getting used in modern band compositions. Uh, this particular instrument is uh, just a, a Chinese made. It's decent quality, uh, professional. Um, I had one of these before, same, same make, and I did have a professional clarinet player use it, and they actually really enjoyed the instrument. This one is equally as good, and you can hear it sounds good. There's a, a few intonation issues, but nothing that a good player can't compensate for. So again, C clarinet, really fascinating choice for use in your band writing or your clarinet writing or really any writing in general. So C clarinet, have a look at it. And kids, this is not the instrument you start on. You still have to learn how to transpose.